entertainment schmig. Gotta love Adele. She keeps it real. And when she was in concert uh, Saturday night in Glasgow, Scotland, she was talking about when she was pregnant with her son, she had so much testosterone that she grew a beard. <laughs> That's not even the best part. She named it Larry. <laughs> she gave her beard a name. <laughs> she already got a playoff beard going on for the blues. Right. <laughs> um, she said that even after she had her son, she held on to the beard for a while. She was joking that she had to shave it right before um, she had to shave it right before the concert. Sometimes- Am I missing something about women? I've never seen that. Oh yeah, seriously. I mean, just about. I don't have any facial hair. I mean, I have blonde. But I don't have any. But some women, they do. I could tell the difference when I was pregnant with my son as opposed to being pregnant with my daughter. I definitely had way more testosterone when I was pregnant with him because my hair would grow so quickly. I mean, it was unreal. I mean, why do you think we talk about ideal image and hair on the face for no, women? No, but I know. But but presenting itself as a beard, I mean, I've say, never seen here's that. Here's the deal. She says beard, but she doesn't mean like, like a full uh, no. I'm trying to think of somebody with a Grizzly Adams beard. No, I, I she know. She doesn't mean like that. She just means hair on her yeah. noticeable yeah. hair. A dermatologist said beards and facial hair very common during pregnancy. He said not because of higher testosterone levels. He said there's no scientific explanation. Some believe that the hair becomes more coarse and darker yeah. as a result of being pregnant. It shifts the hair cycles. We have a couple of listeners that have that, if you recall, Guy. Just another thing that women have to deal with. I know. Kevin, aren't you glad we're guys? Yes, I am. (laughs) Hold my hand. (laughs) (laughs) Keith Richards was asked what he thinks of artists like Adele and Rihanna using so many songwriters, and Uh he said they can't rely on themselves, can they? Keith. Pipe. I, people just ask him questions now because they know he's crappy, and he will give them good audio. Totally. (laughs) Totally. Um, Fabio. You remember Fabio from back in the day? He, like, became famous first because he was on the cover of all these, like, Harlequin romance yep. novels. Right. Never thought he was attractive, by the way. No. His Ever. head was too big. Ever. Yeah. No. But he looks good if you paint him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, they, no. Because he's not, yes, the, I know what he's, he's saying, not the but... same guy. Because he's painted a little differently. Not attractive. Do you remember when he did commercials for I Can't Believe It's Not Butter? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, when he goes home to visit his family in Italy, they don't sell I Can't Believe It's Not Butter there. I wonder why. And he has to bring 25 to 30 tubs of it home to his parents because they love it. <laughs> well, why does he send it? You he know, it's like parents, he's got to bring it. His parents are addicted to it. They put it on pasta with some Parmesan cheese. Sorry. Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> the only thing I remember about Fabio is he get, was on a roller coaster and got hit with a pigeon <laughs> or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. 17 years ago yesterday. Oh, no way. Yes. No way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. How do it you was know that, that long ago? 17. Yeah, because it said on a related note, yesterday was the 17th anniversary of the time Fabio got that, hit in the face by wow. a bird. That is amazing. While riding a roller coaster at Bush Gardens in Virginia. Wow. <laughs> NBC working on their next live production. This may have jumped the shark, my friends, because this is not a musical. Okay. Live production of A Few Good Men. Why? Hmm. No, it's such a long Why movie. Why do we need that? You know, they did Fail Safe, the movie years ago with George Clooney. I remember that they did a live production of that. Maybe they're trying to go back to that hmm. type Why? of thing. No. Well, you know, I mean, they've gotten a lot of press and a, a lot of good press with the Grease. They did the Grease. Grease. I know, but musicals. That's a musical. I, no, no, I know. Live. I know, but you know, you got to step out of the box a little bit. You know, you do another musical, will it hold up to what they did? I mean, I'm fu- telling you, I saw the Grease thing and it was really very good. Oh, yeah. I guess it's different Sound of music was awful. I mean, it was, it was not good. Mm-mm. Carrie Underwood was a little stiff. Great singer, but not a great actress. Right. Mm-hmm. Gary Shandling. You kids want to go to bed or fall out the window? <laughs> <laughs> Gary Shandling's funeral, I guess a lot of people didn't realize that he was a devout Buddhist. And he made secret arrangements before his death. Um, he will achieve monk status in this elaborate Buddhist funeral. Really? Yeah. Um, here's the other thing. 
um, the period of mourning for Buddhists lasts 49 days. Didn't know that. No. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> so what does that mean? I don't know. Like, it's a period of mourning, but does that mean that family? I mean, they, I don't they understand. They don't go to work? No, I think it's other Buddhists. It's not necessarily. Yeah. So, you know. interesting. What so, do they do in that 49-day period? I don't know. Yeah, I'm right. Well, you know, if it's cool, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, gonna... I don't have that kind of time. A uh, hot new couple alert. One tabloid, trashy tabloid, not super reliable, says that Ben Affleck and Charlize Theron are together. <laughs> you think they're just trying to put two good-looking yep. people together? Right. Yep. <laughs> Let's scan IMDb and see who Ben Affleck's co-stars were. Oh, Charlize Theron. There you go. They had a, Reindeer Games. Yeah, they yeah. had a hot scene in Reindeer Games, mm-hmm. and people say that there weren't just sparks on screen, but off screen as well. <laughs> All right. According to sources. And uh, TV Tonight, American Idol, down to the final four. Four series premiere of Rush Hour on CBS and the seventh season premiere of Archer on FX. That's Entertainment Big More at 840 and online at y98.com. Fuse TV.